Good afternoon, guys. Uh, and first and foremost, uh, we hope everybody is staying safe uh, and well. Uh, and now lockdown's been lifted, we just thought we'd bring you a quick update as what we've got coming up on the channel. Starting this weekend, uh, myself and the team are off to East Stoke. Uh, there's a church there which has uh, ties into War of the Roses, so we're going to head over there this weekend. Um, I believe we can actually get in the church itself, so that should be quite interesting. And then next weekend, we're heading off to Cheshire. Now, the reason we're going up to Cheshire is we've had uh, one of our subscribers contacted us and been to this particular location twice, not as a, a ghost or paranormal hunter, um, as an urban explorer. And the first time he was there, he did a Ouija board and got Zozo come through on the Ouija board. Now, for those of you that don't know who Zozo is, um, very mischievous uh, kind of demon. Um, likes to communicate via the Ouija board, but then can get quite nasty. Um, not any uh, documented things to do with possession, but he will try and affect you, make you ill, um, scratches, um, poltergeist activity, uh, really horrible types of audio. Um, so, you know, he's not a very pleasant sort of person. Um, and then, uh, it wasn't last week, it was the week before, um, the subscriber who uh, sent us the message went back to the same place, same location, and used uh, a spirit box. Uh, and got the name Zozo come through on the spirit box. Now that's unusual because usually the communication that uh, the demon Zozo likes to use is via the Ouija board. So it's possible that before Alex went in and did the Ouija board, um, that another group had been in, done a Ouija board and not closed it down properly. Um, it looks, from the information we've been given, um, it looks like whatever was brought through is still in the house. So um, we've been asked if we can go and investigate, possibly do a clearing. Um, it's going to be our most dangerous investigation to date so far, knowing that we're willingly walking into a house where these demonic presence, uh, known poltergeist activity, people have been hurt, scratched, caught, um, been made ill, um, and we're willingly walking in. So it's going to be extremely dangerous. We've been asked if we can do it live and we've said no because we need everyone from the team on the metal that night just in case things go sour. We will be taking the Ouija board uh, and pretty much all the tools that we've got to try and draw out what is there and see what we can get. Um, that will be coming on the channel in about two weeks' time. Um, I'm not sure what heading I'll put under that. It might be Zozo House, Demon House, something like that. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but that's what we've got coming up over the next two or three weeks, guys. Um, that one will probably be, end up being a two or three part episode um, as we're planning on staying there for quite some time, especially if it's as active as we believe it's going to be. A uh, bit apprehensive, as you can expect. Um, we've never willingly walked into a demonic house before um, with the presence that's there. So we're not really sure um, how it's going to go down, but we're going to take all precautions and hopefully everyone comes back safe. Um, so that's a quick update guys. Um, please everyone stay safe. Uh, Christmas just around the corner. Hopefully you enjoy it and uh, you'll hear from us before then. Um, but until then, keep safe guys and we'll see you soon.